crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky DIY, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Manitoba, Canada. Have you ever walked into your craft room and your mojo was kind of left at the door and you weren't really sure where to get started? I've been in that kind of funk for the last few days, maybe even a week. Um, so I decided to create a one sheet wonder today. We are creating, well, I am creating with the Let's Go Fishing designer series paper. This is the pattern that I've chosen. I really love both um, patterns for this. So let me show you what I've done. It's a six by six sheet. We've got four one inch by one inch squares. Um, the template for this will be linked down below as well as the layout suggestions that I'm using today. But the beauty with One Sheet Wonder is that you can take the design and run with it. We've got a five inch by one inch strip, a five inch by three inch strip, and two, nope, three two inch by two inch squares. Um, I'm using the Trucking Along, which is an online exclusive stamp set. Um, in North America, the stamp set is currently still available as of filming, um, but the punch is out of stock until later in the year. So let's get started. I also have a piece of Azure Afternoon here um, and a couple of pieces of basic white that we're going to use as our stamping layer. Um, and of course, card mat layers as well. I've got four of them because we are creating four cards. Um, so number one for the layout that I've chosen, these are all going to be vertical, but you can absolutely switch it up to be horizontal. We're just going to place our three by three onto our card mat layer. And then I've chosen to do, I think this might be trimmed. Um, I've chosen to stamp our truck as well as the greeting. Um, I'm actually gonna use both layers for the truck. This is a photopolymer stamp, which makes it super, super easy. Now, some people might find it easier to stamp your color um, with the two-step stamp and then stamp your outline, which is what I'm going to do today. Um, really, for me, it depends on my mood and what I want to do. So there is a little window in this truck. So there's two things that you can do. If you have the punch, you can punch and create a mask. Or I like to do stamp set down, ink on top. And then just dab very gently um, so that you don't get ink into that window. Um, where I run into trouble sometimes is inking from the ink pad onto the set stamp and pushing just a little too hard and then you get ink or I at least get ink everywhere. All right. And I do like the way that this looks. It's kind of a little bit of a distressed look. Um, what I like to do as well Sometimes when I'm stamping with the photopolymer, um, especially if it's a solid stamp like this one is, put a little bit of Versamark on it first, and then that'll give the ink something to grab to. Now we're just going to line this up and press down, and there is our truck done. And now I'm just going to grab the sentiment that we're going to do. The one that I want for today is special delivery. Um, I love this paper too because it works for both masculine and feminine cards, really anybody. And then we're just going to put it um, actually maybe we'll put it in the back of the truck. A little bit of memento and away we go. And then I am going to trim this one down. Straight up, straight down. Grab our paper trimmer. Give it a bit of a snip. And I'm actually going to do there as well. You want to make sure when you're trimming um, that all parts of your image are away from the cutting line so that you don't accidentally um, actually, maybe we'll use these gems. Um, I just had the package here and now I don't. Uh, these are the iridescent pearl gems, I believe, but I'll double check that and I'll 
post it uh, with the project list below. So I'll just add that to the center of the wheel because, you know, a little bit of bling never goes awry. And then I'm going to pop this guy up on some dimensionals. It's a small piece, so I'm just going to use two. Now, you can keep this as basic or as complex as you want. Um, if you wanted to, you could add a base layer to this, like a mat behind. Um, you could use as many colors as you wanted, but I wanted to keep it fairly simple and straightforward today. So there's one done. Now we are going to start working on B, which is our little squares. Now, this is a piece of Azure Afternoon. Um, I've cut it to two and a half by two and a half, so it'll allow us a little bit of space between each of the cards. And I'm gonna do two and two. So two of them are gonna have the, I guess it's kind of like a denim look facing up and two are gonna have the fish facing up. If you wanted to, you could absolutely um, have all of the same sides pointing the same way. I'm just gonna do top and bottom here. And then top and bottom there. I guess bottom and top. I always aim for center-ish. And then that way, that's not quite centered. It's humid enough in my craft room right now that uh, peeling the paper up is not a challenge at all. All right, and then we're just gonna simply add our square. And again, if you want, you can emboss it. Um, you could stamp the background. I'm just looking to see. Um, yeah, I'm just going to glue. I was looking to see if there was an abstract background in the stamp set. But it's fairly straightforward. Um, so if you wanted to, you could add another piece of pattern paper behind it. Um, really, the options are completely endless when you are in your craft room. And then we'll do sending you sunny thoughts. Now, one of the fun things with photopolymer stamps, too, is that you don't necessarily have to stay with the shape um, of the stamp. It can be in a line, but you can also curve it if you wanted to. Um, a little bit of a gentle curve. You don't want to go too hard or too far because it will buckle. Um, but you could also just ink up a part of it and then I'm just trying to get it to curve here a little bit. Um, I cover half with either washi tape or a post-it note. There we go. So yeah, I did want to bend it just a little. Actually, that's not going to work there. So we'll We'll bend it on another one. I'm just gonna ink it up and do straight. Had I been planning, I may have uh, stamped my sentiment first, but I don't usually plan what I'm gonna do before I do it. Um, do we wanna keep using these gems or do we want something else? Yeah, we'll use these gems. Um, I think we'll go with the larger ones for this one. And actually, we're going to do, I like adding a little bit of corner detail sometimes. Um, I find it challenging to use the larger gems sometimes on my projects. But I find if I use one and then use the smaller ones to sort of accent it, it works a little bit better. All right, so there's card number two. Uh, card number three is really quick and really easy. We're just going to take another four and a quarter by five and a half piece and we're going to add our strip. Um, I think this one's going to get the denim. And this is the one as well that I've got A piece of designer series paper for. I am going to cut this one down and I am going to pull in a piece of Azure Afternoon I think for a little bit of a um, 
emphasis piece or a match behind it. Now for this one, we are just going to stamp the trees that came in this set. Um, and we're gonna keep it pretty basic. And for this one, I will show you how to curve um, the Sending Happy Thoughts. Okay, and then I'm just gonna do, I don't know, three or four trees maybe. We'll see how many fit. We'll do a tiny bit of coloring as well. All right, so four trees. Um, markers, or not markers. Pencils are close at hand, so we're just gonna add some, what is this, garden green and old olive. Just super quick, super dirty, super messy, because we're gonna go over it with our um, blending pen. and get our colors blended together. It's gonna to be another hot one here today. I can already feel the heat of the sun through my craft room window. And of course, you can color this to match whatever season you wanna make a card for. I was really excited about this stamp set the moment that I saw it. And this is Cajun Craze that I'm using right now. Usually I go with early espresso for branches, but I wanted something a little bit different. Blender pen. And then we're just gonna blend those lines together. Again, super quick, nothing fancy here. Um, you do want to make sure though that when you're using your pencil and your blender um, to keep with similar colors and then when you're switching colors just give it a quick rub on a piece of scrap paper or your blotter just to make sure that you're not going to have any color transfer it's not such a big deal if you're working in the same color family um, but it can be a bit of a challenge if you're going from say a dark color to a light color because you don't want to have say night of navy mixed in with your bubble bath pink all right, so there's that. And then take off our tree. I'm gonna grab our Sending You Sunny Thoughts. So again, we're just gonna line it up and then give it just a slight curve because you don't want it to buckle. Um, and then you can take a look and see if you like the way that it looks. I'm gonna grab our Azure Afternoon. Quick little dab and then we're gonna have it match the shape of the tree. So a little bit um, of a fun technique with the photopolymer stamps. Grab our paper trimmer, give it a trim, and then we're gonna add a piece of Azure Afternoon behind it. Um, so this is four by two and a quarter. So I'm just making it a quarter of an inch larger. Oops. Azure Afternoon is really quickly starting to grow on me. It's really similar to Tahitian Tide as well. Those two colors look absolutely stunning together. Okay, so we're just gonna layer that. And then we're gonna pop this guy up on dimensionals. Look at that. I'm probably gonna jinx myself by saying this, but I haven't had to hunt for anything on my desk lately. Wonder if we can get through the last card without losing something. Maybe yes, maybe no, who knows? What do you think? Am I gonna miss something that's right in front of my face? Probably. All right, so card number three. Now we're on to our last one. Um, this one I really like. It's quite versatile as well. So you can place your um, oops, 
actually, let's do this, this, and that. So you can place your cards, um, sorry, your paper pieces however you want on your card. I like doing it this way and then stamping something lower right hand corner, but you can stamp um, wherever you want really. This is quite, I don't know, I don't get very fussed about stuff in my craft room. Um, I provide a little bit of inspiration and ideas and if other people see something different than I do, I absolutely love it and absolutely encourage everybody to try and to share because really there is no wrong in art and if you're not having fun what's the point all right move this over just a little that's I'd say centered ish this one let's see it's warm enough and humid enough in my craft room that I can very easily just shift that Super, super quick. Um, and you know what? We're going to bring the truck in again. Because. Oh, it does. it. You know what? We're going to use the punch. It's not available in North America right now. But it will be. And. We can actually just do a super quick job fussy cutting it as well. Actually. I'm... Okay, folks. You cannot add ink with the lid of your ink pad. You must use the inky part. Okay. Now, I'm not 100% sure where my good crafting scissors are because it's summer vacation and there's equal opportunity for creating, but I do have a larger pair that hopefully will let me do the job just as well. Um, my kids come in and craft occasionally and things don't always go back to exactly where they should. Well, this would be much easier if I had smaller scissors, but these gigantic ones seem to be doing the job. Oops. Now when you're fussy cutting, it's always easier to move the paper than it is to move the scissors because you're more likely to be able to see, sorry, I was concentrating. You're more likely to be able to see what you're aiming for when you move the paper and not the scissors. All right, so not a bad job on the fussy cut with that one. I'm going to pop this guy up on dimensionals. But before we do that, we're going to stamp our sentiment. And for this one, um, we're going to do every day is a fresh start. I really love the sentiments in here. And I was actually looking at this on the weekend. And I noticed that this stamp is actually a beach ball, a surfboard, and a palm tree. Um, so it's great for either Christmas season down under or summer and the sentiments too would work for just about everything okay every day is a fresh start we're going to kind of aim a little bit more to the right hand side of the card because we want it to just hover over the truck box so not too bad there if we can get the back of the dimensional off we'd be that much further ahead and then we're just going to hover it over top um, or un hover the sentiment over the truck. Keep track of what I'm trying to say here and we'll be all good. We're just going to use oops, a little bit of bling on this one as well. Um, I think we'll use the white-ish. Tell you, I would be lost without my take your pick tool. And there you go. So one sheet of six by six paper has given us four cards and endless possibilities. Um, so I do hope that you'll give the one sheet wonder a shot and let me know what you think. If you do give it a try, I would love to see it over on my Facebook group, um, Prairie Sky DIY. 
Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I truly appreciate you hanging out with me and I'll see you again soon. Have a great day.